Hi guys, this is Bruno from Morley Computer Sales and Repairs and today I'm going to be unboxing the Amscope microscope with a 12 megapixel camera and the 0.7 um, barrel lens so a big box just came with all of these, I guess this is the main microscope because it's super heavy um, so I haven't opened any of this, so we're just going to check what's here and then see if we can find some sort of instructions Seems this is the digital camera yeah so this is all from the digital camera so we're gonna leave this here for now it's these tiny boxes seem to be some sort of lens yeah, and my lens okay I'm gonna leave these ones on the side, let's see what's this, go with the lights, here, yeah. so this is the, the LED lights, I think this is the 151, right, so I'm just gonna put this on the side for now, oh, dropping it already, just not a good sign, and then let's start with this big one, sort of large bag, maybe a cover or something. This to the side. Still tiny boxes. I guess it's more of the ocular bits. Yeah, so this is the ocular bit where we put the eyes. And this is the thing to adjust it. It. So, I that it. no instructions here. So, it's out. Right, next one. Right, no instructions here either. Interesting. Right, there was some sort of paperwork on that other one, so maybe let's see if there's any sort of instructions on this one. No, this is just a cable. All right, it's going to be an interesting assembly. <laughs> I start with these baits, but you know, it is very heavy. <laughs> Okay, so this 
one is the version with the double arm. So maybe we'll just take all these bits out and then we'll just figure out how to assemble everything basically. That's probably the best thing. on top so on the bottom I'm guessing it's gonna be this one now which part goes where that's gonna be an interesting one uh, there's a screw here I don't see anywhere to put any screws here I'm guessing this then is gonna be into this one Looks like it. But this one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. I'm guessing this one goes here first. Okay. And then I'm guessing this one is going to come here. but it starts coming out. <laughs> I'm guessing this one stops this one. And this one is just for this one. Okay. Well this one clearly is for something. So do 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 I don't think I've a picture of the of the actual microscope da, 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 da. This one is going to go here. Somehow, no. Do, 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 do. Here we go, like this. There we go. Now we take this one. So this one doesn't really move. screw here and there's a hole here so I'm guessing this one maybe goes inside of it This is a bit confusing. Or maybe this is just too old. Some extra weight from this one. Let's see. Let's 
This one, which I'm just I'm gonna take this off. Really heavy. Okay. Right, so we'll figure out this one on our own then. So I'm guessing this one is gonna fit through here. There's a screw here on the side. Da -da -da -da. Careful so I don't touch, so I don't actually touch the lens. I'm guessing this is like this. And this one might actually go on the top. It's a big maybe there's a two tiny screws on the side. I'm not sure if I need to take them or not. So I'm gonna have to check that out. But in the meantime, let's see how far we can get on. <coughs> this is the digital camera. Maybe let's start with the lights. I think it's gonna be easier. It comes with a Europe adapter. Right. 
So I'm guessing this one's just gonna go here. Okay, so we leave this one first. Maybe. This one is micro USB. Du, du, du. Seems like it wants to go, but it's not really going anywhere. Entirely convinced, but we'll see. Let's try to move it this cable so it's out of the way. Not even sure where this is gonna connect, but it's probably yeah, it's gonna connect here. It goes down like this, and supposed to have a power cable connecting here. I don't see any power oh it's here actually. Okay. digital camera and the cable that will connect to the computer let's start adding on to these other bits So one is 30.5, the other one is 30 millimeters. I'm not sure what's the difference, but I guess we'll find out soon. I need to figure out where everything goes first, so... Right here... This would be supposed to be like this... No... 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 
this is the tube that adjusts. Okay. So it seems like a lid. And this is the original one, not the, the other one. Anyway, we'll just crack on and try to put everything in place first. This one kind of just hits the bit forced, but we'll see if that's the, how it's supposed to be. What other bits have we missing? Alright, so we have these two things, which I'm not sure what are they for. We have this glass, which I'm not sure either. This is just lids. We also have this bit here, which I'm not entirely sure what is it for. We'll have to check these out as well. And now we have these three little boxes. Which I'm not sure what is what. So let's see, what does it say? So this is the 0.7 lens, which I'm not sure where it goes. I'm guessing underneath. And that's this. This is the 0 0.5 lens, the one that comes as standard with the cam or with the microscope. And this is what? A 2 times lens. So I know we're not going to be using these two, we're going to be using this one. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to take these off. This, so I'm guessing these lens. This is the barrel lens. So here we go. It's perfectly here. And now I'm guessing. Hold on, let's see if this one actually fits here. Perfectly. This is still not very as it should be. I don't see absolutely anything. I'm starting to see something. I 
can you have some sort of plastic which doesn't sound very good really it's almost like I forgot to take some sort of plastic so you're gonna have to double check just in case maybe because it's new I guess Okay. I'm not sure if I have to do this kind of filter here. Okay. Right, so now I need to figure out first where does this go? Which I'm guessing is gonna be here somewhere. Top, so it's still all good. Oh, hold on. There's something I missed here already. Okay, so before this camera. Okay. Before we put this, this needs to go here. Like I said, but we need to take these two things. So you can actually fit this properly. Uh, right, it's a weird game, but let's see. That's the one. There we go. And now it fits perfectly. Okay. Still not seeing how this camera is gonna go. There we go. It might be it then. But let's let's check the rest of the video to see if we get everything properly. show to assemble on the top <coughs> so So this does go here.
25 stacks on her. The camera there is. So that seems we're not using these three bits, the, the other one, so we're not using, so let's just put these lights. So I'll have to do some research, but in the meantime, let's see if I can get this to reach my computer. Yeah, like that. And let's see if I can install this software. Just gonna try to install the software and see what I can actually show you from this camera angle, which is not great really, but it's better than nothing. for now so I can't see anything but I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to go somewhere pretty sure that this needs something on top but we'll see is this CD gonna work or even the computer is like what the hell is this a CD who uses that?
Okay, so it's showing the camera there. Not great, but... Let's get maybe a board or something, just so we can actually see it. Let's see what we can actually see. The focusing part of it is not there's something that is not quite there yet. So I guess this is just a a bag to cover it when it's not being used. Yeah, so it's just a bag to cover it. Right, I guess I'll have to do some research on how to somehow calibrate and then to get this so it doesn't move as well. If there's no screw or anything and the video that I saw shows that this is supposed to click somehow it is not really clicking anywhere okay da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'll get back to you with that then. Hi guys, so quick update on the microscope. So I've checked online, checked, checked with a couple of colleagues. Um, so here now is focusing just fine. It's all good, it was a question of adjusting a little bit. The camera, it's also focusing, but is not really that great. And considering that I bought this one, which is the most expensive one, which is 14 megapixels, um, because I wanted the quality, uh, I'm not quite impressed because I've used the 5 megapixels before and the quality was much better. Uh, also, this one only connects to the computer, so you can't uh, just take it to a screen straight away uh, other than connecting it to the computer. So, what I've done is uh, I'm scope agreed to refund this one and I'm gonna get rid of this one. If you decide to keep it, uh, apparently there's, um, there's an adapter you can put here that helps. It's called the uh, 0.3... Uh, let check. 0.35x, that's the kind of the size, uh, C-mount adapter. And basically it helps basically with the, with the views from the camera. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing actually, uh, which was recommended by another colleague, is get rid of this camera, buy like a Canon 500D, buy the adapters and then just keep the camera there all the time. Uh, and that's much better and it will have the, the mini HDMI as well straight into the screen um, so probably that's what I'm gonna do but for now this will do anyhow um, but yeah so I also noticed that this one doesn't have like you know like the the soft sponges that you put here you know for me for now it's fine I might not like it in the future because you know we're working through here the, and the eyes and the eyelashes are gonna touch there uh, and it's gonna keep getting dirty so for now it's good as it goes but apparently you can also buy that adapter uh, in the future so I might do that uh, in the future 
Um, but yeah, I think it's one of those that, you know, it's a very expensive toy and the more you use it, the more you'll see what you need, what you don't, uh, what works and what doesn't. So because all of these micro soldering is still very new to me, it's, it's a bit pointless for me to start spending money in adapters and these and that. So for now, I think I'm going to keep it as it is, I'm just going to exchange the camera and uh, and then as it goes with the, with the jobs that we'll start getting, then I'll see what's best and what's not and if I replace these with the soft ones or not. Um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit silly that such an expensive toy doesn't come with a simple instruction manual. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. And uh, yeah, there's a few videos online just like I did. You can check to, to make sure that everything is being put in the correct place and everything. Uh, just be very careful with the lens so you don't touch the lens directly, especially when you're assembling it or to, don't drop them and things like that. But yeah, other than that, that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you somehow. And if you're thinking of buying one, at least, you know, you see what you're expecting. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.